Welcome back to another show on the Minnesota Native Plant Channel. Uh, today we're looking at the wild lupins. Beautiful little uh, blue, uh, purple, white flower. Uh, it grows to 12 inches to uh, maybe 24 inches tall. Um, it's a pea-like, uh, it's related I believe to the pea in that it uh, fixes nitrogen into the soil. Nice little spring bloomer from uh, mid-May to uh, into June, uh, where our season's a little late right now, but uh, uh, usually it blooms a little earlier than now. This is uh, a really stunning plant when you get it into a lot of them, a mass planting. Really looks nice. Uh, it is something you want to put some companion flowers with, some other natives. I've got some uh, uh, prairie smoke with it right now, but some things that are going to uh, take over and bloom later as this tends to uh, die out once it's done blooming. Um, it prefers uh, dry soil. I mean, you could have some really poor soil and it'll do well. Um, Well-drained soil. Don't let it get bogged down. Um, but it likes uh, a lot of sunshine or uh, partial shade, but uh, doesn't like a lot of shade. Um, it's hard to get established. You want to have seeds uh, uh, that you can uh, inoculate with some of the bacteria uh, from the parent plant or uh, move the plant with some of the soil, um, some of the soil from the mother plant uh, that's going to have, the pres have some of that presence of uh, the nitrogen fixing bacteria. Um, just a real neat plant. Uh, to have for some spring uh, bloom. Let's see if I can zoom in here a little bit and show you what the the bloom looks like. Just a beautiful flower. So if you can get your hands on some of this, a, a nice native plant of Minnesota. Uh, beautiful spring uh, May into June color. Anyways, thanks for uh, checking out the Minnesota Native Plant Channel. Cheers.